Hey everyone, welcome to another top 10 list. A lot of you have been asking, now that I've gotten my Technicolor note, what is tops on my wish list? So I decided to take a look through some of the stuff that I had and figure out what my next major purchases are going to be. Now, the, the top three or four are probably the top for sure, but the other ones, well, they can probably change, but it is just stuff that I'm on the lookout for. The basis of my collection, I guess you would call a typeset collection. I'm trying to get one of everything, essentially. So I looked through certain things that I just didn't have, and, uh, well, that's how they made my list. So let's get started. Uh, some of these entries are going to have multiple notes. Uh, others, well, you'll see. All right. We're going to get started. Starting off with number 10. <clears throat> this is a national bank note. This particular one is from the third charter period, if I recall. And uh, this one here is a plain back. Uh, it, it's called that because of the white area here with no writing. The ones that I still need to get are called the date backs, which will have the years over here. And then there's another variation called the value back, which would say $5 or $10 or whatever the denomination was. So a national either from the second or the third charter period, that has a date back or a value back. I still need both of those. That is number 10. Number nine. I have this Confederate counterfeit note. It is a $5 note from 1861, September 2nd, 1861. I want to say it's type Thirty-one, if I remember correctly. But this one is the counterfeit. And I know it's the counterfeit because the figures look cartoonish. There's not a whole lot of detail to them. And the way this was counterfeited was they used a wooden block and engraved the images on the wooden block and used that. All of the counterfeits have the same number, serial numbers. So that makes it easy to tell. I mean, aside from the cartoonish look of all the figures. So... Since I have the counterfeit, I definitely would like to get the actual note. It's always cool to see the real note and the counterfeit side by side. So that is number nine, the 1861 $5 CSA. Number eight. I've got a note very similar to this in two ways. Uh, this is the 1869 $2 rainbow. And this, of course, is just the replica. Now, the $2 rainbow from 1869, I've got a $1. I do not have the $2. The rainbow has the bluish pattern that fades to green. You get the red seal. You get this green on the back, uh, the black ink, of course, and the white of the paper. That is why it's known as the rainbow. Like I said, I've got the $1 version. I do not have the 2 so... I most certainly am going to be looking for the $2 version of the rainbow. Uh, that one is number eight. Number seven, same series, different denomination, going with the $5 rainbow. Uh, that was a pretty easy pick after the two. Like I said, I've got the one. Uh, getting the two and the five is just what would be next in the list. Uh, I've got, uh, this would be a wood chipper, I guess you'd call and I've got this version in the non-rainbow, and I have it in the uh, public error note as well. Now, the public error, didn't they didn't do that in the rainbow series. That has to do, well, you can see the back is completely different, so <laughs> it wouldn't be that way. But the public error is, uh, they, call it, they call it the public error, but it's not really an error. It's more of a variation. Anyway, the $5 rainbow from 1860. Did I say 1862? It's 1869. The rainbow series is 1869. That one is number seven. 10, 9, 8, number seven. Number six. This is a $2 silver certificate from 1886. And it features General Winfield Scott Hancock, who was a Union general in the Civil War. Now, the importance of this note is it is the very first $2 silver certificate. There were $2 legal tenders, there were, uh, but there was never a silver certificate 
$2 silver certificate before this. They were higher denominations of silver certificates, but they didn't bother with the paper because everybody actually had one or two coins in their pocket and they didn't need paper money for that particular thing. So in 1886, that's when they first came out with the $1 silver certificate and the $2 silver certificate. Uh, the one, that's the Martha Washington note. So this is number two in that set, the $2 note. Uh, the, what did I say his name was? Winfield Scott Hancock. Uh, General Winfield Scott Hancock. And of course, that's the back on this one. That one is number six. Number five. This is a $5 treasury note. The $5 treasury note, I want to say this one is 18... Uh, 1886 on the back here, or is it 1890? I gotta double check. We're gonna go straight to the book on this one, because this one I always thought was fairly interesting. So let me just grab that here. I had it set up to a different page, but you know me, right on, right on cue. All right, got the big book, and you can see here, uh, this has the bust of General George H. Thomas, Union Army General. Famous as the Rock of, oh boy, <laughs> right there, bust of General George H. Thomas, Union Army General, famous as the Rock of Chickamauga. Uh, his portrait was engraved by Lorenzo J. Hatch, and that is the, which one is that, 1890 version, you can see the back on that one, and there's also an 1891 version. Uh, the 1890 version, that's the expensive one. You're talking over $1,300 when you're in VF20. I would be content with the 1891 version that has more white on the back for the 850 that they are talking about. So that one is number five. Number four. This is... Uh, which one is this? This is the 1882 $20 gold certificate. Now, you guys have seen uh, my 1922, and you also have seen my 1905 Technicolor. This is what was around before then. I believe that's Garfield that's on there. Uh, the president, not the cat. <laughs> the $20 gold coin note. This one on the back features an eagle... And that eagle is actually holding two wires, and you can see the, the lightning bolt between them. This was in, I don't want to say it's a commemorative, but in celebration of the transatlantic, uh, uh, transatlantic cable that finally connected the U.S. to Europe. So that, that's what was on the back of there. But yeah, a $20 gold certificate. I've managed to knock out the hard ones, so this one should be easy as far as the $20 gold certificates go. Uh, so that one is number four. Number three. This is what the $100 gold certificate looks like, and I do not have that. This would be the, this is a large size version of the small size note. This is a small size gold certificate. You can see here, 1934, they just happened to make this particular replica uh, in the large size. This one I think even has, yeah, has the gold back, which the actual note does not. The 1934 $100 gold certificate. This one is the largest denomination the average person is probably going to get. They did make a 500, a thousand, I think they even made the 5,000 and 10,000. But once you get over the $100 note, you can buy cars for what the other notes are worth. Uh, this note is probably in the 1,000 to 2,000 range without a problem. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be one of the tops <laughs> That's for me, that's for sure. Uh, that one is number three. Number two, unfortunately, I have to use the same note because I also am looking for the 50, the $50 gold certificate, 19, it's actually 1928 is what it is, if I remember correctly, 1928 or 1929. But the small size gold certificate, both the 
50 and the 100 are both on my list. Uh, so those are number three and number two. And finally, number one is also another twofer. This is a 1914 $100 Federal Reserve note. Uh, this Federal Reserve note features Ben Franklin in profile, which I think is pretty cool. But the back of the note I find extremely fascinating. This does not look like U.S. currency. This looks like some type of engraving right off of a Roman Colosseum or something to that effect. That's always the impression I get. Can't, I mean, can't you just envision this carved in stone, you know, above some entryway with pillars underneath it or something, you know, with the triangle? I mean, that, that's how I always envision the back of this note such an odd back compared to everything else we've got for currency the other thing is though that yeah this is a, this is a cool note but there is also a counterfeit version apparently russia counterfeited a bunch of these and every once in a while you can spot one because they have this they all have the same serial number uh, you can look up the article for that but yeah i would like not only this note but i'd like to get one of those counterfeits as well before they start going through the roof, because I'm sure there's a lot fewer of those. And as the story gets out, the demand is also going to be going up for those, too. So those are the top 10 or so notes that are on my wish list. I'm sure if you were to ask me next week, I wouldn't come up with the same notes. But I know that the, the top five or so would still be in that list. Anyway, that's what I've got for you guys this week. If you learned anything new, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like what you see and you want to see more, please subscribe. I love reading all your comments. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.